Right, tackle the topic. Uh, Tackling topics. So once again, words. Who wants to get words? I want to get words. They were a bit average. Well, in my opinion. Average is our word. But I, I'm comparing it to other game awards. I'd as opposed to general entertainment. If you're comparing it to general entertainment, it didn't have very it didn't have very many moments of like, oh that's cool. Uh, well yeah, but I if mean, any, even to comparing it to other lower budget awards, not necessarily game awards, mm. it was below par. It was so advertising, weren't it? It were. It felt more like an advertisement. It felt more like a two-hour advertisement for nothing under the guise of an award ceremony. Yeah. Now, last year I didn't mind because they had cool shit. Mm. Like you saw your Zelda there. Yeah. And the artists they had on, singers, whatever. Mm were more relevant to games, at least some I were interested in. Yeah. Or they'd at least force something in, like they had the Mario guy playing the piano for them pretty boys, whatever they're called, Dragon. Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. But at least he tied something in. But this was just like, I don't know. I weren't feeling it. And the only interesting thing for me was the Kojima thing, where he just outright said, he's not coming, because the lawyers won't let him come. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, I don't give a shit, it's my show, I'll say what I want, basically. Yeah, but, but we were talking about this before we came on air, and we dealt, before this, he dealt with Iowata, and he went, now we're going to pay tribute to Iowata, and there was less than 30 seconds worth of side scrolling pitches. There was you know? shit pitch, now, yeah. Let, just... Let's go to, well, basically to do what we do, which is yeah. Google a fucking image, yeah. type to Iowata and pick the first five, and went, yeah. yeah, fucking slideshow. And then you really got Re- Reggie to come out and Mr. Iwata made us a fuck ton of money. <laughs> made us a fuck ton of money. And if you remember this game, he made us a fuck ton of money. And even when you all laughed at the name We, he stuck with it. Made us a shit ton of money. He was a good friend. <laughs> and now for a person you've never heard of playing the piano and a song you've never heard of for five fucking minutes. Yeah. Well, maybe that song was relevant in some way, but they never explained it if it was. What I was the guy's name? Oh, See, that's the point. That is the point. I'm getting that. Uh, and then we jump forward to, uh, unfortunately, um, Hideo Kojima couldn't be here. He fucking now. melts it to fuck, doesn't he? That um, the lawyers. Why well, he wanted to be here, but the lawyers told him he couldn't be. Boo, boo. Um, so he sends regards and I know he's watching from Japan so now we have Stephanie Houston to sing Quiet Sphere it was like I, was I didn't know who the fuck she was and I didn't know what Quiet theme was he should have explained that that's why I'm thinking maybe the Iwata song was relevant in some way but they never explained that so I'm just like why am I listening to this shit yeah what is it it's, who is she is she yeah so she yeah, exactly so she plays she plays quiet that would have made it interesting if yeah. I knew that. And uh, and that's the song from the game. That's the song from that the game. That would have made it interesting if I knew that. But they never fucking explained that. Oh my god. I didn't give a fuck about any of the, the awards. I didn't, I didn't even write them down and fuck all. I didn't care. Cause no, I just, it's always bullshit. I wrote most of them down. But then you left them anyway. Uh, but I accidentally, yeah, I accidentally. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. I don't, but it's stuff like that. I just, I feel like there's a lot of bullshit going on. I mean, it's all opinion anyway. And, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's, it's also even if it's people, even if it's people voting for it, it's like these people haven't, you know, like normal people like me and you, mm. semi-normal, <laughs> abnormal, King, King's abnormal people like me and you. Even when you get Check a message, message box. Oh, really? You sent me a message. I'll, 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 I'll I won't check it now, though, dude. I'll, uh, I'll check it after the stream. But uh, just before you get onto that, I'll just finish up the Hideo Kojima oh, right. thing. Sorry, I would in, intercross. So, he milked it, as I was saying off, uh, offline, um, I felt he milked it so much, it was almost like he was talking to a victim of Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. And then we'd give it to Stephanie Houston, yeah, yeah. even though uh, 
even though at the beginning of the show they banged on about and now we're going to have churches and now we're going to have dead mouse later on didn't mention her anyway so they knew she was going to go on because there's a fucking orchestra behind her yeah so it wasn't yes, like just, a oh shit shit Stephanie would you mind singing this song because we just found out that it can't be hit yeah, they know yeah it was all preempted they know but yeah and then onto, onto the uh, yeah onto the, onto the actual awards themselves um, yeah um I thought I thought they dealt with them poorly because they were concentrating more on the advertisement and the pushing of products as yeah. opposed to because how many times during the show would they go like uh, okay and uh, and this an interview with such such by brilliant and you might not know but uh, CD Projekt Red got Developer of the Year um you know like, isn't that a big an award should I not be handed out to somebody yeah. that's Developer of the fucking year yeah. you know yeah. and uh, just before the show started. <coughs> Like, uh, if you watch it on YouTube, uh, it's a three hour or two and a half hour stream. The actual uh, show is only two hours long, but it's half an hour of a pre show. And right. in the pre show, oh, they what give I watched was an hour and 40. Oh, right. In the pre show, watched a better they, version they give somebody you. awards out in the pre show. Right. So right. if you're just waiting for the live stream, like, okay, I'll wait for this, brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, and uh, Nintendo win uh, Family Game of the Year with uh, Mario yeah. Maker. You're like, well, put that. In the fucking award show. Right. Yeah. Yeah, see, these are all my problems. And then the camera pans around and you have a fucking three-quarter empty auditorium. See, I'm at a watch of edited people, version. Lots of people write that at the front of the stage. And you're like, constantly, nothing's happening. And they're like, that. Oh, woo! And you're like, you've been paid to be there. I'm at a watch an edited version. Well, so check it out I'm, again on YouTube. I've got rid of a lot of guff. I don't want to see it again. No, no, <laughs> just, just, just yeah. get it. Oh, oh, just, yeah. And then just jump through and you buy it. Yeah, they must. I must have watched the chop, the guff, yeah, bit, and it, even then it was still it was like pro on bollocks with what it were. But yeah. anyway, so carry on. But so what we'll do because the show itself wasn't that, but generally you get some decent announcements. Mm. So I'll just go through. That's you might have known about a few of these anyway. We'll just talk about what what was shown. Yeah. So. I think this was shown before it came on actually, but it, the Tomb Raider DLC. Yes, it was shown before. It was it was a trailer to begin the show. Yeah. yeah. So that were all right, <laughs> but pointless. Um, and then, so we got Laura Croft coming on. I can't remember what the fuck she was doing there, but it was that the actual woman, wasn't it? The yeah, sport, it was the woman. Yeah. The, the voice. She's quite fit, isn't she? She's not as fit as Laura Croft, though. <laughs> I don't know, because I thought she was, but I think it's just right. her voice. <laughs> I like her voice. She's very posh sounded. Bitch. Not like us. Oh, not like, yeah. And then, there's all this bollocks we Uncharted 4, where you can choose... So they showed a bit of a... a bit more of that. Yeah. I can't actually, which but bit was it? Was what it, it were was it when, now we've got an exclusive uh, reveal of a new character of Uncharted 4, uh, coming up right now. And it had the guy, you had Nathan Drake, yeah. and then there was this woman. And then the other it's fight. The, it's the woman bit, right, yeah. right. So that's the next the exclusive fight. reveal of a new character in Uncharted 4. D- yeah, I think It means nothing. That. It means nothing. I didn't care about that. It means absolute piss pot. Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq Fu. Yeah. Didn't give a fuck about that. It's tall, isn't it, though? It's funny watching people stand next to him. Because he's just fucking massive. Yeah, he's so He's fucking huge. So for that, it was okay, but... I don't know, I didn't give a fuck. Didn't give a fuck. And your favourite, Telltale, Batman. <laughs> oh, the silly bastards, when will they learn? And I'd like to play that, but I know no, it can't be any good. I, I wouldn't. It can't be good. It won't be good. It won't be good. They fuck. They got. See what I mean by saying uh, they, they're a small developer and they're taking too much on. There's so many. Season two, Walking Dead. You think you'd make them better at it though? You think at least. But, so you got season two, Walking Dead. Uh, Borderlands season two. Walking Dead season three. Walking Dead Michonne, which is a separate Walking Dead game. Do you know that then? Yeah, that was. I thought, oh, that's cool. And then I thought, no, because they're making all these others, so it won't be cool. So well, I was like, oh, yeah, cool. I didn't, I didn't think it cool because I, I yeah. thought, I remember getting fucking ripped off with. Uh, 100 days, is it? 400 days, 400 yeah. 400 days. 
Gosh. Hmm. So. Yeah. So. Ah, but so a bit showed a bit more of Far Cry Primal. Now I might actually play a Far now, Cry game. Now, I, with my gamer eye, I, I watched that video and I went, you know what? I'm gonna fucking enjoy that game. And yeah. the reason why I'm gonna enjoy that game is a very, very simple one. It's because it's what Far Cry has been crying out for. Because <laughs> it's look, look at it. That's exactly. What all the other Far Cry games have been building up to is, like, I'd play that, but I when really you start giving me all that technology that the other games do, it put, it shits on the actual game. Whereas in, I know I don't have a fucking helicopter anymore, I know I don't have a grenade launcher anymore, I know I've got this, that, the other. I fucking and hope like, you don't. And I'm, yeah, I hope <laughs> And I'm like, yes, okay. Now everything that you did in the other games would make sense by putting it in here. Hunting, yes. Yes. Tracking down animals, yes. Sneaking up on stealthing, yes. Everything does. Whereas in, in the other games, it's like, I've got a grenade launcher. Um, you can sneak up into that base, what? Yeah, I'll just stand away, <laughs> Yeah. But it makes sense now, so. Yeah, because I, I just didn't like the other games at all. But this, I fucking, I love the look of this. It was brilliant. Yeah, I mean, you get, really you, sure you get beasts on your side, you know. You, you do, you, you've, you've got an them. army of beasts. Well, not an army, but you know. Well, I think you can have one main creature, can't you? I bet you can switch out, maybe. But uh, either way, it's, uh, it's fucking each amazing. time, yeah. So, well, I saw the saber tooth, and I'm like, yeah, I'm on board. I'm on board. Then, yeah, I, saw, yeah. then I saw the dire wolf, and I'm like, dire wolves are all right. Then the bear turned up. Fucking like, <laughs> yes! Fucking bear on my side. Mm. Fucking the bear. So I thought, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. This is good. That was a highlight, actually, for me. Yeah. Of the entire show. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. I'll carry on. Yeah. But I think it was. Um, and then churches came on and church. They've got a V yeah. for some reason. It's that stupid text that they the, the text the the font that they chose was just retarded because I'm like, <laughs> if I want to be in, I know that this is the video game awards, so I get that that's. It says video game, even though some of your letters look like they could be B's or R's, because the A's could be an R. Yeah. Uh, and then so on and so forth. But like. is that not what? I think that's how it is anyway. No, it isn't. Is it not? Churches. It yeah. is actually churches. It's just that they use their, their video game awards font, which made U's look like V's, which made right. A's look like R's. Right. Yeah, that's oh, fucking, fucking stupid. Right, stupid. Well, that's weird then. But I really like I'll that. get Rainbow. Oh, I do need to get Rainbow. It's, it's a matter of money, mate, because I've got Christmas coming up, Ooh. and then I've, I'm. I'm What's trying. Rainbow? Rainbow Six. Or oh, Rainbow Six. Reality spam. Half Life 3 that bad day. This is Half Life 3, what do you talk about? <laughs> well, I'll put a. It doesn't matter, I'll tell you later. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> just part of my usual bollocks. Uh, no, I'll say we were just playing. We got a, an early code for Half Life 3. <laughs> oh, right. But it's shit, so I put Portal on instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, just. Stuff that goes on in my head. It's well, yeah, reality yeah. And, and me. Similar. Never the two shot mix. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I really like that song, but I, I don't know why I was listening to it on the Game Awards. No, no that, that was my thing, is that I don't have any issue in the slightest with that group. But I do have an issue with them rocking up to a uh, Game Awards. Uh, trending Gamer. Right, of course have I got a few words. Oh, who is the trending gamer? Greg Miller, game over Miller, game over Greg. Yeah, I'm game over Greg. I get too much money for what he says. Um, yeah, he's fucking tall, that bastard. I didn't realise how tall he were. It was, it was still next to Laura Croft, though. Right? No, he's tall. He's a giant. He's a fucking giant. Not as big as giant. So don't so. piss him off. Come get you. <laughs> um, it was in. It was oh, in the not to poo poo, but. Churches is a V. Oh, all right, okay. But they're a dick. Okay, it is. Because I googled it afterwards. So why are they called churches then? Churches. Churches. Oh, Scottish. Fuck uh, churches. Churches. Uh, yeah. So uh, look at that leather jacket, though. Why <laughs> Jimi Hendrix right there? He's here, reincarnated. You stand right next to a mountain. Do you chop it down with the edge of your hand? Bam, bam, bam. Chop it down my cock. <laughs> Voodoo child. Um, <laughs> I've got in, a different version of that In the, uh, the nominations for, for the Trending Gamer, this is actually a fan award. Um, apparently the fans have voted for this. Uh, in the, um, now which is what I start feeling, I don't think they promoted this well enough. 
This is why I have this for not promoted well enough. In the group uh, in, uh, for nominations were Marky Pyre, who is a Twitch streamer. There's a lot of VR stuff. It's quite funny. I like his voice. I took the piss out of him for a while. A few of my streams I did entirely like Marky Plyer. He talks like this. I'm Marky Plyer. Welcome to Marky Plyer. Oh my God, the screen's coming right in my face. I sound like him. It's like <laughs> unreal. I sound like him. Um, so Marky Plyer, PewDiePie, Total Biscuit, and unfortunately I can't remember the other dude. And that's not a slight on his stuff. It's just, I can't remember him. So with Greg Miller in there. Now, this is a fan award. So, people vote for this shit. PewDiePie's got 24 million subscribers. You're not putting this Game Awards in right places. Maybe. People haven't seen this or are not aware of these Game Awards well, to vote. I don't watch PewDiePie, but if yeah, I but did, maybe he doesn't, maybe he never mentioned it. No. Whereas Greg Miller mentioned it all the time. But he wouldn't. Yeah, well, there you go. But so maybe there's a bit of that. Like, well, there you go. Yeah. So it's like, you mentioned it all the time. Shut the fuck up. You don't deserve it. To me, personally... That's more good marketing than anything. It is, yeah. But the yeah. entire fucking show was all about the marketing. So for me, personally, Total Biscuit or um, or PewDiePie should have won it. But it's a fan, fan choice, so nobody can get pissed off. But I also find it very, very suspect that this guy that's an industry insider... Ends up winning as well. Which oh, he's the age mates with everybody. He's mates with everybody. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's, he's got all manner of cocks in his mouth. Oh, yeah, you want to see. You're like, well, who. You know, like Total Biscuit has pissed off quite a few developers. So if he was to win, you'd be like, actually, I might be convinced here that this might be a bit le legit. But obviously, it's a fan of words and you say, well, people didn't vote, people didn't vote. But Total Biscuit's not going to be the one person. PewDiePie is not going to promote himself for for uh, for an award. Yeah, because he's he's more humble than that. To be to be fair, for a guy who's got twenty four million, he probably didn't. Years. I wouldn't mind yeah. knowing that. Yeah, yeah, he probably didn't. Markiplier say isn't the kind of person that promotes himself in that sort of way. Either. Yeah, uh, Markiplier will do all manner of shit, um, and um, Total Biscuit just doesn't do that. He won't promote himself. And Total Biscuit's got something like three million subscribers. And yeah. Like, well, Greg Bill is there with. Who said it all the time? And he says it all the time. He and he's, he's time, got 3,000 yeah. subscribers. So if it is fan choice, why don't you have a look at the subscribers? If you're going to be dealing with trending Yeah, thing, actually, yeah. Look at subscribers. The, that, in the, the views. The votes in the views. So. Which is why we're last. <laughs> well, the thing is, should is have, YouTube um, has clocked how many views and yeah. it had to reset and start again for us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is why it's confusing. We, we, we overclocked it. We've overclocked it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um... I think they should have a little one though that's like, these names aren't famous, yeah. but check these out, who's one, that, you know, like this sort of unknown or up and coming or something, summer. Well, Ariane tried to get us on, uh, well, suggested to us, uh, PewDiePie was doing this thing that if you had 500 subscribers, yeah, you can enter a competition and, he, and he'd, he'd promote you on his channel. Some but the like thing that, is, yeah. is like we're not four hundred channels, you know, but but that you know we'll be out of it anyway until we get a little bit better. But, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, but no, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. That would have been interesting. Because then I think I've never because I've heard of all them, on the one that you forgot, which is probably the one we should check out. He's probably the best. I, I, I've seen him a few times yeah. and he never stuck with me. He's another, he's another Twitch stream gamer. Yeah. Um, see, because I prefer Jack uh, Jack Septicai over uh, over this other dude that was was showing up, mm. but. But in, in it, you had Markiplier and PewDiePie, which are both Twitch streamers. And then you had Total Biscuit, who is a freelance journalist and does some really good, like, journalistic. Yeah. Yeah, I don't agree with a lot of his stuff that he has to say, but I know he spends time to write all his stuff. And You can tell the difference between someone, the opinion people, like us. Why is Angry Joe not on there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh -huh. it, 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 well, Angry Joe's not on there because he pisses a lot of developers off. Um, he buys his own games and shits on games because he shits all over Star Sterling Wars. Sterling as well. Jim St Sterling, out of all them, he's fucking, he's like our level in comparison to them. Right. He's fucking tiny. Well, yeah, yeah. so I want to see more and more of them then. Yeah. I want to see more Sterling types, mid level so, type people yeah, or even smaller. Anyway. Yeah. Fucking hell. Whatever. Uh, Psychonauts 2. <coughs> Go 
komt ze break. I can't remember quantum break. Quantum break is pushing its fucking look. I like the look of it, but I don't remember what it's like. I'm getting more and more bored and bored and bored and bored with it. They need to start. What they should Are they do, doing nothing when they show too much? They're showing far too much for me. And to trying to make it seem really, really deep. So I think you should bite the bullet and go, here is an hour of gameplay and here is some of the actual footage. Here's an hour's worth of gameplay. We're going to do it. Here we go, streaming and playing. I want to see that. I don't want to see your fucking nice vertical the two, slices. Yeah, yeah the two nice. You, you're trying to build it up to be something bigger. Yeah, I don't know what it's like properly yet. Nobody does. But I do. Lions yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see someone play it. Show it me for an hour. And I'm then. definitely interested, but... I, I am, it's an exclusive for Xbox yeah. and you know, it's, it's got its own little TV show with it and stuff, so... Yeah, like, it yeah, sounds I'll, cool. I'll have a go at that, but... Stop showing... Stop showing or whatever. Yeah. Uh, rock band Oculus, they did like a little yeah. skit, which was relatively funny, I suppose. Um, being on stage, me and Oculus, I don't, how's it going to work? Do you need to see keys? <laughs> yeah, and that's what I was thinking, because they didn't show how it was going to work. Or do no, they have a different system? I'm, I'm indifferent about Psychonauts. You know why I'm indifferent about Psychonauts? It's about 15 years old, and to announce the sequel to it, it I'm just not I'm not bothered. I've got Shadow of the Beast all over my head. Shadow of the Beast. 15 year old game. Shadow of the Beast. Oh, it's good to be a Shadow of the Beast game. We're not actually a Shadow of the Beast. Uh, I'll be alright. It looks alright. We'll see. It's, it's going, a wait and see thing. It's isn't going it? to be painfully out. Is shadow on the base, uh, but so with the Oculus rock band thing. So that's what I was thinking straight away because, like, what rock band and, and um, guitar hero are? How are you thinking? After the after, yeah, uh, thinking <laughs> visually. Um, <laughs> the new guitar hero live is shite, by the way. I don't get it. It's just, you know, um, rock band's supposed to be alright, you know. Rock band's not too I bad. I don't know what the difference in those games is, but. But if you imagine, if you imagine six tubes coming towards your face, right, and then I grab a handful of skittles and go, ah, you have to play them not. So I don't see how yeah. they are. It's gonna work. Like, yeah, man, I'm all around, I'm all around. But if that's still in the middle of your vision, because this is it how, needs to be a different game. This is how uh, uh, Guitar Hero Live works. They've made it all live and you're walking around the stage and stuff and people coming over to you going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was right? annoying that. And, well, you don't see it because you've got this fucking train yeah. coming towards you with stuff and you're concentrating on that. Yeah, yeah. So it's all for anybody else. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 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 That's I suppose it. at least if anybody you're having a party game, it, it looks more interesting to everybody. But, yeah. but it isn't. It's, it's Douglas' fault when you're watching it because you're like, oh, so this one. The only way that'll work but is, because that's Psychonauts 2, there's a VR version that's a different game. Right, okay. So... Apply that to rock bands. It needs to be a different game where you're on stage. You don't have all them skittles coming towards you, as you said. Mm. You just—I don't know what they do, but you do something else just so you're on stage. I think it'd feel quite cool if they could give you that same feeling of you're playing a track, even though you're not really. You're just mm. pressing buttons. No, it does feel good when you when you start yeah. banging through. I mean, Steve's really really good at the other ones. If you. He, he, yeah, he's fucking, he's playing on So if it can give you that feeling, but in VR, and you stood on the stage, you've got the crowd, and you can look around, and you're doing that, it'd feel even better, wouldn't it? You're getting yeah. that song that you love, and you, you're nailing it. Yeah, mm. but if you've got that shit streaming down your face, that's not going to work. That's so it needs to be a different version of that game. It might be. It might be a different version well, of that game. Well, in the game, when you shot it, you looked down at the keypad, and they were all lit up on mm. this guitar. So I don't know whether you're gonna to have to look down and they'll start flashing and you're like da, 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 da. in which case well, all that Yeah he's still not walking nothing. around then it's simple. But it does yeah. mean that you can sort of hold it like that. Yeah. Like, yeah, maybe maybe it'll work that actually, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely needs to be different. That much is yeah. That much is for certain. Fucking right. Fucking right. Uh Shadow Complex. Cool, good game, very good game. One of the best free games I've ever played. They're not making another one, but they're remastering. I hope they fuck up one. with demo again. But you can get that on PC now for free. I don't know how long for it. I think you can still get it for free. 
That's it's all right. It's a good game. I remember getting it for free. Um, yeah, because you got the demo and there were a glitch or something. <laughs> yeah. It was glitching the demo where if, what did you have to do? You had to just pause it when you fought the boss. Right. Pause it, load load save because it loads the checkpoint at the boss. Yeah. It forgets that it's a demo. Right. And then you beat the boss and you just carry on. As long as you don't turn it off, you can play it. You got the full game. <laughs> what a fuck up. No, you still you still so you still look at the, the colours that are coming towards you. You have to, otherwise you don't know what you're pressing. He's mastered it. He's memorised yeah. all the seconds that you have to press the red. playing fucking through the fire and flame. <laughs> Rocket League is going to be on Xbox now. That was apparently a big announcement. It was inevitable. Yeah, everything that's third party is going to be on everything. Why wouldn't it be? You make more money. Yeah. Unless somebody's paid for exclusivity, which only lasts so long anyway. Yeah. Right, you can get a Gears of War car and a Halo car. I mean, that, that was nice. Cause it's nice to have the little extra play, things. PlayStation don't have that. Um, again, Rocket League, I, I had all this written down. Rocket League, um, Witcher 3 was nominated for 4 one th uh, and 1 three nominated for four separate ones that it lost mm. won three right. uh, so it was seven that, that got nominated for the most awards and won the most awards uh, Rocket League won two out of the three things that it was in it was one of the sports one as well my problem yeah this this was a weird there was a weird category called sports and racing eh now racing in itself is a sport yeah but there are many racing games that are not orientated around F1, which is a sport. Right. You know, and uh, yeah. MotoGP, which is a sport. Because Need for Speed isn't a sports game. It is a racing game, but it's not a sports game. Have them separately. Yeah, Mario Kart. Mario Kart Even more isn't, considered, it isn't considered to be a sport, but yeah. it's a racing game. So yeah. they put them in. Now, it's I didn't like that. As well, say sports sim, then, if you're going to be a dick about it. Sport uh, sim or racing, yeah. Then that's it, and then you're like, right, okay. Um, so, I f it, it felt like a joke when did uh, Rocket League because you're in cars and it's a sport. Fucking tell him, hey, this category it's made for again. that. Yeah, it, it was like, uh, and I think it did get pushed to win more prizes because it, it, I think it won best indie game as well, didn't it? I don't know, I, yeah. I honestly paid no attention to it, the... It won, it won the best indie game when there was other games in the category such as uh, Undertale, which people need to play. Mm. People need to play that game. From what I've seen of it, and I haven't seen enough to break the story, it's fucking good. You can play that, it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a mini RPG, it's not massively long, you can play it without killing people. Mm. If you kill people, it, it basically fucks with your head. The game fucks with your head. Right. Yeah, nice. It just fucks with your head. It'll run on practically any laptop. Uh, her story was also in that. Uh, Ori in the Blind Forest and, and Rocket League. So Rocket League won indie game. Another one that they sort of shoehorned out before the show even began was Best Fighting Game. And what won that? There was uh, Guilty Gear XR3RD. Which is what we did. Our first uh, tournament. Touch, uh, tournament was was that absolutely gorgeous looking game. Uh, and then there was a couple of other little anime uh, beat 'em ups, um, and Mortal Kombat X won that. You know the one without money. Yeah. But they shut that out of the way so nobody can argue with it before the show began. Hmm. This is why I don't like the show. This is why I don't like <clears throat> these awards. It was very. Underhanded and contrived, contrived and then this, going and then off, this yeah. wins and then this wins. Um, best score, best sound, I don't know if you got this one written down. Best score and soundtrack. Nominations were, I think, well, get me, you can Google this shit, because uh, I wrote all this stuff down because it was annoying me. But the best score, the winner of the best score, the best soundtrack of a game this year, yeah. Metal Gear Solid 5. Is it a good soundtrack? No, there's no music in it. You find tapes and the tapes are just shitty 80s It's proper tape. music though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, 
Yeah, it's a bit of a bullshit one. GTA. Now, there's another one that was for, forced in. Uh, because or Ori of the Blind Forest was uh, nominated for quite a few awards this this, this year, and a, another one that was sort of forced in, which was fucking mental, right? Best art design. Metal Gear Solid Five. Just looks like a generic. So it's game. A real, it's real world. Where's your art design? But it looks generic when I look at it. Apart from the weird, I like the weird shit with the whales and stuff. And the Call of Duty. It's eh? a real world. What art design? Yeah. And then there were another fucking couple of games that are real world. And then there was Ori and the Blind Forest. You know, like, yeah. That wins it, yeah. yeah. Because it's got a style. Because it's got a style. <laughs> because, I mean, you could say that the other styles were really the realistic style. And you're like, yeah, but you, are you not meant to, as a game awards, as, as you all sit down around the table with all these affiliates, all these people from Microsoft who sit there, as, if you go on to Wiki and have a look at the amount of people that had say in what games were up. Phil Spencer had say. The yeah. head of PlayStation had say. Uh. Hideo Kojima had a say. Uh. All, right. all these fucking people. Really? Yes. Fucking right. hell. See where it starts seeming a little bit contrived? I could sort of smell <laughs> that though, which is yes, why I didn't even bother registering. I don't even know what one game of the year, because I didn't give well, a I know fuck. What, I, I, <laughs> what one, uh, so anyway, we'll, we'll crack on until you get to uh, uh, We knew it though. Uh, Mark know. Hamill turned up. Yeah, cool. Which was nice. Was Dead Mouse like, did some weird music at the end. It was rubbish, wasn't it? Was that game related or was it just some. He started off relatively game related, didn't he, by having. Uh, he starts off. Da, 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 no, no, it wasn't. It was the music from Super Mario World when uh, Bowser appears. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. And then it just went off on one. Yeah. I don't know, it was it shit though. Like and he, just, he couldn't be asked, could he? It looked like he lost all interest halfway through. Couldn't be asked. Yeah. I think, like, the fact where well, you brought it up earlier. It would be in a dick when uh, Battlefront, because he kept making them go backstage and chat about Battlefront, Battlefront. for no reason. And a lot of the people no reason. clearly didn't know how to, how to play the game because there was a question. This girl, I, I Justin, who again is another uh, online fucking thing. Hey, I'm just gonna dismiss the Miss Bumble Mode. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, I, I missed the Miss Bumble Mode. I'm gonna have to check that shit out. Uh, but um, <laughs> next week. But I, Justin, um, she, she was interviewing quite a few people, and it was very clear. If you've played Battlefront, which you've only played a very bit of it, played a demo, uh, how you become Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader, there's a randomly appearing icon on the map, and you yeah. have to run and find that and collect that, and then you become Darth Vader. <clears throat> yeah, right? I think there is a mode where you can be one of these people, though. It's like all, all the heroes versus is. the heroes, and there's... The, you know the villains. Well, I whatever. thought I didn't think they were. I thought yeah, yeah. That, that was the special thing in it. That, I don't know if yeah. That, yeah uh, there's a mode where you can be right. like Luke Skywalker, or Darth Vader. Right, and, fair and enough. Well, the other. that sort of underlines though. But it's, yeah, it's just yeah. that everything I've, I didn't, I didn't realize that. But yeah, it was just yeah. like who do you like to play the most? Ah, I always choose Darth Vader, and I thought you're not playing. This Even game. that doesn't sound right because to say always choose, it's mm. like well, you can't in most of the game. You don't choose in that mode, probably. Maybe there's another mode. I don't but know. But the modes that you're playing in the background, the Battle of Hoth. You just never say choose. You'd, you'd say, I'd like, to, I like to play this mode because I can choose to play it as. You just you'd, it, wouldn't it, say it, like it just that. felt very, very contrived and like they've all been paid for it. And it, it, it became. It was, every, it was only Dead Mouse that didn't give say, a fuck. It all became ever <laughs> so clear that people have been told that to have to say nice things to it. When Dead Mouse turned up and was like, he looked pissed what? off that she were asking him retarded questions. Yeah, he just didn't um, want to be there, did he? Rightly so. <laughs> he just didn't want to be there, so was pissed him off. Mm. He's like, listen, bitch, I've got a fucking tattoo on my neck of Space Invaders. Yeah. Do what the fuck I want. I'll do that. <laughs> I win. I win. <laughs> right. That's that. Uh, game no, no, okay, we'll finish on the, the game of the year. All right. Was, um, was Witcher 3. Okay, right. I can sort of accept that. I could sort of accept that. It were in the running with uh, Fallout 4, Metal Gear Solid 5. I don't know why Fallout 4 were there. I don't know why Fallout 4 I think 4 it's just because everybody plays it. Everybody, you have to love it. <laughs> you have to have it. You have to love if it. If you didn't have it there, the internet would go mental. Yeah. Like, where, where? I'm sure there's many games that could easily replace that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the thing is, is I, I was actually thinking, what has been my game of the year? And I put the most hours this year into Witcher 3 and although the story ended up flagging 
mm. for me after I got past the story arc. But all the side missions I absolutely loved. I loved existing in that world. Yeah. It was absolutely gorgeous. The sound design was brilliant. The art design was brilliant. And I thought, you know what? I can't argue with that. Yeah. I can't really argue with that. It's not one that I could be pissed off with. No, I won't argue with um, it. It's good. And they won uh, Developer of the Year in CD Projekt Red. Yeah, I can appreciate that. And I think uh, Witcher 3 also got another award. I can't, um... It's a bit weird though, isn't it? Because I think it won Best RPG. They've only made, as far as I know, they've made that game. They've only made Witcher, yeah. So to get Developer of the Year and make one game seems a little bit, to me... It depends on the size of the studio. I wouldn't, a lot I wouldn't of be, I wouldn't, after after looking at how fucking dodgy all this stuff is, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a bit of handy shaky shaky for an exclusive on our console. Mm. So it'd be like Phil Spencer going, "What you do as an exclusive? Can Cyberpunk twenty three thirty nine or twenty three ninety nine, which is the next Cyberpunk game? Yeah, the next game coming out." Can that be exclusive to Xbox One? And they'll yeah. go like, well, you know, oh, what we're we gonna get for you? Well, I'll go with Jeff Keighley, we might be able to get you developer of the year. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe Keighley just going, we'll give you this if a, your first trailer for yeah. that game is on our next Game of the Year award. There's, well, there's so, too, yeah, many too many shady, shady, shady deals. Shady deals. Oh, Hayden Pantidier. Uh Yeah, Until Dawn was actually up for Game of the Year. Uh, was it? I would have picked Until Dawn. It was also up for um, Best Story, the Best Narrative. And the game called Her Story won Best Narrative. And it looks really fucking interesting. Yeah, I mentioned that the other week. Yeah, it's, mm. it's, it's something we need to have a, have a do on because it's a bit weird. It's a bit different, and I like that. But yeah. I need it on my PlayStation. Yes. Right, that's that done. Yeah. Fuck it.